thousands of people are voting absentee today, but if you're worried about your ballot being counted, you can still go to a polling place to cast a provisional ballot. Our Hannah McDonald joins us live from Rivergate Church of Christ this morning where voting starts in just a bit. And Hannah, how does a provisional ballot actually work? We haven't heard much about these in the past other than if you forget your ID, which I'll get to that. But really, if you've got an absentee ballot and you're not sure it's going to get to the uh, post office or its final destination, rather, on time, provisional ballots, they are the way to go. Here is how it's going to work today. You can come to your assigned polling location and ask to cast a provisional ballot. Just explain you are unsure your absentee ballot is set to arrive on time. Provisional ballots, here's how those work. They're counted actually after Election Day. You will fill out your ballot, and instead of scanning it at that moment, your ballot will be folded up and put into an envelope with your name on the outside. And then the day after the election, someone like me will get that envelope. We'll pull you up in the computer. If we got your ballot by mail, we do not count the one you cast in person. But if we did not get your ballot by mail, then we do count the one you cast in person. So if you were wondering, are two going to get counted? No, they do do a double check. Another opportunity to get a provisional ballot handed to you today is if you show up without a photo ID. If that is the situation you find yourself in at your polling place, they'll give you this paper ballot. You then have two days to go to your election commission office in your county and verify who you are with a valid photo ID. From there, another verification process takes place and you should be good to go. Live from Madison, I'm Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.